Hello and welcome to yet another informative video of Wondershare Dr. Phone. So today we're going to be addressing an important issue of bypassing the FRP lock on Samsung A10, A10s, or FRP A11 in detail. So with the help of the right method, this video will be helpful for you in removing the Samsung bypassing lock and managing the device accordingly. So do make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon for upcoming updates. And before we get straight into the video, there's going to be a great offer in town. So Wondershare Dr. Phone is presenting an offer and giving a one month free license of Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. All that you have to do is just comment down below, mentioning your own experience with Dr. Phone and other screen unlocking tools that you have used. Do refer to Dr. Phone to your friend and get selected for the free month license. So Dr. Phone is going to select one winner every single week. So do make sure to keep in touch there. This giveaway offer will be starting on the 1st of December 2022 and will end by the end of the same month so by the 31st so do make sure to comment down below and thank you so much for watching so do you wish to perform a samsung bypass by covering an a10 a10s and a11 frp bypass well let's get right into the samsung unlock Part 1. How to Bypass Samsung A10, A10s, A11 Google Account Our focus in this video is going to be providing you with a proper overview of how you can bypass the FRP lock on your Samsung A10, A10s, or A11. So we're going to be highlighting some of the best methods over here that could be used in order to accomplish this exact same thing. So method number 1. Using the best FRP bypassing tool, Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. So we will start our video with, with an introduction to the best tool in the market for FRP bypassing. Dr. Phone Screen Unlock has made a mark in the market for its versatile operations. With dedicated support for Samsung devices, you can easily remove the FRP lock on your Samsung without a Google account. Before we proceed into the steps, there are going to be a couple of things to look into. So Samsung A11 and A11s were introduced with Android 9 and are upgradable to Android 11, whereas the Samsung A11 can go up to Android 10, but it can be updated to Android 12. And since we have such diverse Android OS versions to cover in Samsung Unlock, we will provide a guide covering all mentioned versions with Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. So first things first, for Android 6, 9, and 10, you must download and install Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer and access the Screen Unlock tool from the list and then continue to the next screen. And then select Unlock Android Screen slash FRP from the options and then continue to select the Android version to bypass the FRP lock. You must select Android 6, 9, 10 from the options and continue to connect your Samsung bypass device with a USB connection. So as this device connects, a pop-up appears on the screen for information. A similar pop-up will appear as a notification on your Samsung device, so just tap on confirmed on your computer and continue with the pop-up on the smartphone. Click view and then let it lead you to the Galaxy Store. Install and open the Samsung internet browser. As you open it, open this URL right here that you're going to be seeing on screen. And then from there, on opening this browser, select Android 6, 9, 10, and then proceed to click the option of open settings. As you find yourself in setting, click on the pin option. So following this, you must select the do not require option and then lead to next. Add in the pin code and do remember it for the future. Tap on the skip option and return back to the Wi-Fi connection page. Once you reach back to this screen, then you can go ahead and enter the pin code set before and click on continue. Lead through the screens until you come across Across the Google account sign-in page. Here, just find the skip button and tap on it. And then the FRP lock that's fully removed from the FRP Samsung A11 device after this. For Android 11 and 12, start off by accessing screen unlock and then come across the same window where you select the Android OS. You must select the Android 11 and 12 option to proceed next and then click on start and make sure to, to connect your Samsung unlock device with a USB connection. You will receive a notification on your Samsung and computer. Click confirmed on the computer and then continue on your smartphone. Click view across the received notification to lead into the Galaxy Store. 
look for Alliance Shield and install it on your device successfully. You must log in or sign up with a new Samsung account to install the application. Launch Alliance Shield on your Samsung device and tap skip on the first screen that appears. Continue logging into Alliance Shield. If you do not have an account, open AllianceX.org on your computer and sign up for a new account. Log in with that account on your Samsung and then continue. Set a device name and proceed to turn on the device administration options. As you click next, you will be directed to the confirmation window where you have to tap on the activate button. On enabling this option, continue with the next option and turn on not. You will be again redirected to a new window where you have to confirm the process. Once Nox is enabled, click the finish option to conclude setting aligned shield and then you will then be led to the next screen where you have to select app manager from the options search for service mode in the next set of options and then lead over to the activities tab look for this option right on the screen com.sec.android.app.mode.mui.activities.usb settings you should also see that on screen you will be led to a new window after selecting open on the pop-up check mark the option of mtp and adv and then hit ok and then you have to enable usb D debugging for which you must unplug and then replug your device. Restart your Samsung device and open its settings. Look for general management and find the reset option. Continue by selecting the factory data reset option. Confirm the process of factory resetting your Samsung and successfully bypass the FRP lock once the device launches again. So why is Dr. Phone the best option to consider? There are going to be several other techniques available for bypassing the FRP lock on your Samsung A10, A10s, or A11. Since they cover the latest Android OS versions, the availability of these methods gets extensively high. So getting into these methods would consume a lot of your time, which is never on our list. So to make things clearer and shorter for you, we will be mentioning some points that will help you understand why Dr. Phone is preferred in the market for removing FRP A11 locks. So procedures for removing FRP locks like TalkBack and PC Odin 3 do exist in the market. However, when put in comparison with Dr. Phone, there are several pointers to consider. Following our discussion, we will help you out in understanding them for coming to a conclusion. So why is Dr. Phone the preferable technique for removing the FRP lock from Samsung Unlock A10, A10 S or A11. It's going to be because, for instance, Dr. Phone provides a much more user-friendly interface than both set techniques. The process is smooth and does not confuse the user about the operations. The guide available for following the complete procedure is coherent and understandable. Meanwhile, the other two techniques do not have extensive guides like Dr. Phone, screen unlock for Android, for removing FRP locks. If we look put Dr. Phone in comparison with PC Odin 3, it is evident that the interface of the former is much more updated than the latter. Talking about device protection, Dr. Phone utilizes state-of-the-art models and mechanisms to carry out the process, leaving the slightest of, chan of chances to damage the device that is being processed. Provides support to the latest Android OS version, making it far better and easier than the rest of the methods to unlock FRP lock. Part 2. How do I turn off FRP lock on Galaxy A10, A10s, and A11 without a computer? So the FRP lock was initially introduced in Android 5 devices with the obligation of providing a Google account that can serve as a great protection mechanism from getting the device hacked. If you are lo looking forward to avoiding computers by turning off the FRP lock in your Samsung A10, A10s, or A11, the simplest technique comes in removing the Google account from the device. For that, you must be aware of the power password to these accounts and the device. So to remove the FRP lock from your Samsung Bypass device, you must follow the provided steps coming right up. Open your Samsung settings and then look for the accounts and backup option. Find the accounts option on the next screen and then look for the Google accounts in the list of emails available. As you proceed to the respective Gmail account setting, find remove accounts in the next options and then select the following prompt to confirm. This will remove the Google accounts from your device, hence unlocking the FRP RP lock for you from there. So this video has been pretty helpful in guiding you to the right way to removing the FRP lock from your Samsung A10, A10s, and A11. From techniques like Dr. Phone, the process gets much easier to cover for managing Samsung bypass procedures. As explained in the video, if you follow everything as advice, you will surely not find any difficulties in this process. If you like this video, please make sure to leave us a like and also comment down below any of your thoughts and do remember that there is a giveaway for Dr. Phone going on right now. Also, do subscribe to our channel 
channel for more amazing content just like this. And until next time, have a good one.